all. And Gary Renzi came up, and I'm done. I think he talked to too long, but he was all upset because somebody got the padlock off his locker downstairs, and his good racket ball rackets were gone. His clothes were in there, but his rackets were gone. And I'm thinking, who would, I mean, who would do that? Who would cut the lock off? Somebody had to know they were in there. And he thought we did it because he didn't get his locker rent. And I'm going to cut the lock off, you know? He's got a pair of bolt cutters in here. Well, that's what I thought. I thought that was kind of weird. Well, then a month or so, or a couple weeks ago then, about a month later, he came in. And he said, oh, by the way, I caught my racket. They were at home. And my husband standing there goes, oh, yeah, I remember now. I cut the lock off for him because he forgot to lock his key. Oh, so neither one of them has remembered? No, neither one of them has remembered. Until oh, he found his racket at home. So I forgot that anything. <laughs> my husband said, oh, yeah, I did it. I cut him off. There's the guy with the bolt cutter. <laughs> Because he asked him to do it because he lost his foot. He remembered he was there. Oh, okay. Must be a guy, right? Oh, sure. <laughs> oh, sure. The other one here, um, it's kind of a combination thing. The basketball, Junior and my girls were down in the locker room for basketball practice. Well, they were in the gym. They left their clothes in the locker room. Have you ever seen the locker room when the girls are in there for basketball practice? The clothes are everywhere. Well, a couple of them came up and they were complaining because there were people in the pool and their clothes got all wet. And they, I went down and I said, well, sure they were, you know, we got people swimming, they're going to track water, you got, that's why you got to keep your stuff under the, oh, our stuff was up on the features, they swear to God it was, on the end, you know, right there. So anyway, and I went down there, we had enough people in the pool that you could figure out who got their stuff wet. They were keeping them getting the wet on purpose, and I did have a couple kids down there that maybe could have done it, but there was no way to do it, because I had some other people in there, too, and the floor was really, really wet. So it just depends on whether stuff on the floor on the bench. But then, then um, Simone left me a note the next day that a gal from Lakeview called later that evening and claimed her daughter lost two Stack County Raider t-shirts and a sweatshirt while she was in the gym for practice. And she expected us to reimburse her for $26 for her mental and stuff. And I said, not, you know. One, they were not responsible. Number two, it's a school thing, right? It's school. You know, um, you could have left it in the office. You could have put a lock on the locker. Um, I don't think she ever did call that up. I never called her. She the floor's out. I see the girl next door. Well, yeah. Like well, stay, yeah. I mean. And my thought was if the girl knew they were missing when she left, why didn't she say something on her way out the door? Why didn't she wait until she got all the way home now? You know, I don't think we'll check our lost and found. Well, yeah, but I wasn't, there was no way I was going to send her a check to the other stuff. I mean, she got out of bed, I'm sorry. Yeah, you know. We did have another little incident last week. Um, Kay got called. I didn't write a report. Um, apparently, a little boy went home and spent a dollar too much and told his dad that it was because I charged him an extra dollar because he paid late. And the boys were in here, it was a no-school day. They were in here, oh, it was a week ago today. It was a no-school day, they were in here. I thought they were maybe here for basketball, so I purposely didn't charge them right away. Plus, I was meeting with the wellness people. I was going to Sarah Hedgehog's funeral. My mom came in to fill in for me while I was gone. I said, just kind of keep an eye on them. I don't know if they're basketball or not. I don't think they're going to get back. She said they bought tons of food, the whole little girl, but she didn't know which little boy was which little boy. Um, I came back from the funeral. They weren't didn't have basketball, so I said to them, you guys don't have basketball, you have to take in, those of you that aren't members, you can't pay for money, I put the cops, I went back to the funeral. Well, supposedly I went back to the gym and made that take pay an extra dollar. I went and dad called, did you get called too? Uh, I heard. Yeah. I was calling the kid, listen, dad, I, well, I got a message then the next day to call the dad. So I called him, and he just chewed my cat. So I was calling the kid liar, and I was the one that was lying, and I was the mean one, and my daughter should be at that front desk when those kids come in. They shouldn't have to track me down, and on and on and on. And I said, I had a note. I was in a meeting. I had a note on the door. Well, you're telling me my kid can't read? Well, no, that's not my Does this fellow ever want to volunteer? Yeah. He just went on and on. Then he complained to Katie. And but I didn't charge him next to the dollar. I'm sorry. I just didn't. One little boy that was with him didn't even have enough money after he spent so much food. You know, we had two 
Latin around the church. <laughs> 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 